Extensive research in the HCI literature has explored interactive techniques for digital fabrication at product scales. However, less attention has been paid to how we can guide human workers in fabricating larger scale structures. In this paper, we present a model of crowdsourced fabrication in which a large number of human workers collectively build a large scale structure with assistance and enhancement by digital guidance mechanisms. To investigate this idea, we designed and deployed a system for building a 12 foot tall pavilion structure over three days of a design conference. Conference attendees could volunteer 20 minutes of their time to assemble and add a module to the structure. Our system has five main components. Wearable guidance through a custom smartwatch app, location tracking using low energy Bluetooth beacons, environmental guidance through wireless RGB LED nodes embedded in the construction space and in building materials, robot fabrication to assemble each module using a string winding procedure, and backend coordination by a Foreman engine that ties together all of the components and enables real-time monitoring of the build process. Each worker started by checking in at a registration desk and putting on a provided smartwatch and tool belt. The worker was then instructed to proceed to a training station. A wireless LED node at the station blinked in a color matching the band of the worker's watch to provide additional guidance. Next, the worker was guided to a stick depot and instructed to collect a set of three bamboo sticks with color-coded end caps. The worker was then guided to an available robot station where they were instructed to adjust an end effector on the robot arm. and then to load their three sticks onto the end effector. When all three sticks were secured, the robot measured each stick using a light box and an attached camera. The worker was then guided to tie a thread to the bottom of one of the sticks and initiate the winding procedure. While the robot was winding, the worker collected connector nodes to be attached to the completed module on the pavilion. Once winding was complete, the worker was instructed to tie off the thread and remove the completed module from the robot. Finally, the user was directed to the pavilion to attach their completed part. To indicate where the part should be attached, connector nodes on the structure blinked the color of the worker's watch band. Once the worker confirmed that they had arrived at the correct location, these nodes changed color to indicate the proper orientation to attach the completed module. The module is secured by tightening zip ties on nodes already attached to the pavilion structure. Finally, the user attached the additional nodes that they had collected earlier in the process to the bottom of the attached module. In the paper, we present our findings from the three-day deployment, including feedback from more than 100 volunteer participants who took part in the exhibit. 